Hey everybody, what's up? Jester here. Welcome back to episode four of our Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode Wasteland playthrough. Again, I need to find... Maybe we'll just call this Project Ozone Wasteland. I think that... Let me know. Project Ozone Wasteland, do you think that would work? Let me know. First and foremost, I want to say welcome. Uh, a member of my community, Old Metalhead, is, our, is my newest member on Patreon. Dude... Thank you so very, very much. Good to have you on board. Uh, so now we begin. We begin. Had a few questions. Uh, first and foremost, one of the questions was explaining the... Explaining all of the... What are they called? The, the modifiers and how they work and all of that stuff when it comes to understanding Tinker's Tools. Now, I think there is the book. It's still in here. Yes, there is a book, Materials and You. Take a regular book, take a blank pattern, makes it, and it break down, breaks down all the materials, all the stuff, all the things. So for me to sit here and break all of that down would take an entire episode or two. What I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to talk about how I start tools in every single playthrough that has tinkers that gives me the option to go through and make tinkers tools so i make everything out of stone and believe it or not i stick with stone for quite some time the the first thing i often add to my pickaxe as we saw was episode one is i add or was it two i add the obsidian sharpening kit which you take a regular sharpening kit with a piece of flint and it sharpens it to mining level cobalt which in this pack is absolutely crucial. Now we still have garbage for durability. Let's go ahead and repair you up. Um, still has garbage for durability, but you know what? You repair it with stone, you have all the stone, everything is golden. After I do that, first modifier is a diamond. Now there's two modifiers that add durability. The diamond adds 500, the emerald adds 50%. So we are down at 104. 50% is only like 52. Diamond, that's 500. But later on, if you need to make massive quantities of unbreakable or large durability tools, um, sol solium, solarium, one of those two, is, and we'll get there, is going to be the, the best one to take. So I go, first thing I do is I'm going to add that. And make sure if you have stone tools, stone sharpening kits. Those will allow you to repair your tools on the go. You're not going to need a tool station. You're not going to need any of that nonsense. So with the pickaxe, that's where I start. Obviously, we saw my very first diamond went into the stone sledgehammer. Fantastic. That's how it works. That's how I do. When it comes to all of the other tools, I also will we'll throw a diamond in on that. Um, I'm going to need that in the nether because as you can see, I made a small trip to the nether. We got a couple of things and it was important that I got it for some of the stuff we're going to do today. But, uh, always, I always, always, always add that. I always add the diamond. Sometimes depending on if I make this a silky pick, which I'm probably going to, I will add redstone. Redstone speeds it up. You can add, I think three sets of 50. Um, the other thing that I add, now you'll see when you hold, hover over it and hold shift. Now, if you hold control, you can see what it's made of. Very basic wood, wood, stone. That's it. Hold control. You'll see the attack, the number of modifiers, the mining level, durability, XP, etc. Or you can just put it in here. Now, what I go for is reinforcement. And now I have a method of power leveling my pickaxes every single time in this pack. I did an ozone two. I'm going to do it here in ozone three. And then I add these reinforcement. I need five modifiers. Five modifiers will get me going. And that's just any cast, uh, which is you throw in two gold in your smeltery, make the blank plate. You're golden, surrounded by obsidian, and you make that. Obsidian, not so difficult to come by. What we're working on today is going to make that even easier. So that's what I always go towards. Now, once you start making, now this is just a basic stone sword. When you start making weapons, 
that gets a little tricky. And we'll get into that once we get there. I usually stick with the basic broadsword or I will go with a katana. I think the katana's in here. I'm gonna have to find out. Let's check. Katana, are you in here? You gonna hang out with us? You're the rapier. No katana, unless the katana requires the large blade, which means we're gonna need the tool forge. Let's see here, tool forge. It looks pretty default. Looks pretty default. Why do I get the feeling that that's wrong? Ah, no matter, we'll deal with it later. So that's pretty much where I go to when I get my, when I get my stuff started. Uh, and to continue on, we're gonna run into the nether real fast. And I'm gonna show you what I meant by power leveling my pickaxe. Go, go, power wheels. Oh, no, wait, power leveling. Stay away. Stay away. All right, I have a little tunnel that goes all the way down and you will see I'm actually using my hammer to clear this out. Beware of lava. Oh, and I also ended up completing one quest because I accidentally grabbed some Inferium. So we'll look at that later. Mother chicken. <sighs> Another reason why it's very, very important. I scared the crap out of me. It's very, very important to get silky. Yes, you want silky because I forgot the crap explodes. Oh man, if you have uh, silky on your tools, the silk touch, it does not explode on you. A little bit of a jump scare for you. Was it worth it? I don't know. We're gonna leave the diamond because I, I don't want it to explode on me. I wanna save that. All right, let's go ahead and finish working our way down. Tainted soil. You're gonna want this. All right, made it all the way down. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a few things on you. Sharpening kits to repair your pick. You're gonna want, um, or your hammer. You can use both. So you want sharpening kits and you're gonna want uh, wood stuff so if you need to make a, pit, uh, a box or anything, a chest, whatever the case may be, and you want food. So first thing is first. Um, I'm going to vein mine that. We're gonna need crushed netherrack. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in, in a minute. Sorry, had to make something real brief. Okay, so we need to power level L pickaxe. Here's what I do. As you notice, you have an XP bar, right? You have an XP bar. Very first one, I'm out of hunger. I'm out of food. We're taking damage. We're taking damage. Get that all back up. Now we just hit that, as you saw, you begin to feel more comfortable handling the stone pickaxe. What that did is I'm now up to modifiers three. I can now make three mod, or I can now upgrade three more times. And I think it's every alternating level or is it every level we'll get that? No, it's every level. I'm thinking uh, back in the day, every other time you leveled up, you actually got a modifier added. So it could be diamond, it could be whatever the case may be. All right, and let's see here. Go ahead and repair it once again. And there we go. We just got, holy weird noises. We just got yet another upgrade. Now this will definitely become a silky pickaxe. Make it silky smooth. Put you down, another rack goes in there. We'll go ahead and make one more again. 
Because we're probably going to need it. Look at all this stuff down here. Are you broke? You're broke. And there we go. Just a couple times. And now, as you can see, modifiers five. It just took a little bit of time. Uh, we sped it up. You can see it didn't take a whole lot. We'll head back. We're going to go ahead and dump off our netherrack. We were, we were going to keep this because we will probably grab it later because we can do stuff with it. Uh, from down here, you can see we've got a little bit of quartz, all the other stuff. This is a great way, early game, to go and mine and get resources. You will have to watch out for falling lava, but from down here, you can see all the stuff that you're gonna need. Again, make sure you have a silky pick, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Stuff will explode, and yeah. Is he still up here? Is he still up here? I don't think so. Just be quiet. Whew. Safe and sound. So, as you saw, easy, easy way to power level your pickaxe. Go ahead and throw the crushed netherrack in here. We need 10 plates. That's five. Go ahead, take care of that, and turn you back on. And we need obsidian. We need a lot of obsidian. It's what, eight per, so that's what, 40? That's 40 buckets of obsidian. So now there's, as you can see, four in each of these. That's eight. We need that a couple times over, but we're going to work on something a little bit different and we'll, we'll get to that. All right. So one of the things that I use oh so often, and this kind of got nerfed. We talked about a thing in episode one, and this actually clears up a screw up that I made. We need tungsten. We need steel wire. Uh, we need small place. Oh no, that was completely... That was a different screw up. It's still a screw up, but yeah. So let's go ahead and grab some copper, actually. Throw you in, cook you up. We're gonna need, uh, where is my plate? There. Cause we're gonna need that copper plate. But for that tank, we need steel. Remember we were talking about making the steel. Steel wire, we just need to make some shears. Simple enough. At least one should be done. Fantastic. Do we have glass? Not a lot. That might not even, no, that should be just enough. Okay. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna go in there. Fantastic. Have any iron? As you can see, I'm well beyond scatterbrained. This is this is fairly normal. This is fairly normal. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and throw the eight of you in here, cook you up, turn you into plates. So, anyway, as I was saying, to make this, we need tungsten. Now, the only way you can get tungsten. I thought, yeah, here it is. Tungsten ore chunk is from crushed netherrack. That's getting dark. That is one of the reasons why we grabbed all of this crushed netherrack. Let's deal with the day nights here in a second. All right, so let's go ahead, get this sifted up. See if we can't right off the back, get us some tungsten, clear out the, uh, 
little bits of the inventory that we don't necessarily need right now. So we're going to need, what was it, four? So it should be, there we go. That should be just enough. Take care of that. I'll put you in there for the time being. And then plop you in. Oh, wait a minute. Item can't be molten. So does this mean we're going to have to do it? We're going to need four. All right. All right. I, I, I hear you. So we're going to need to do this a little bit more again. Many stacks of crushed netherrack later. We have a full inventory. All the gold. A fair bit of tungsten, some iridium, mithril, titanium, cobalt, the three gems. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and clean this stuff out. I got some prosperity. Like with when you use the regular overworld stuff, you get 100% iron. With with uh, netherrack, you get 100% gold. So it's kind of nice. Don't forget, shift K. We'll go through and take care of all of this. Just like that. Plenty of gold. All of the other stuff. The important is that tungsten. Oh, it does double. By default, it doubles. I can get behind that. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. We grab the glass. Oh, say, did I have the doubling? Oh, this is cheaty. That, oh, that's right. That uh, doubles some of the stuff. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'll allow it. All right, small tank, one, two, three, four, surround it there, and we get the fluid tank from Ender.io. This used to be the default recipe, and, and again, uh, I apologize, because I use the crap out of this. We're talking obsidian today, so here's what we do. Go ahead, put you down right there. We need what? We need some stone. There's some. We're going to go ahead and make us a stone barrel. One, two. Barrel hype. We're going to need a hopper. Do we have one pre-made? I don't think that we do. If not, we're going to be making probably hundreds of them through this series. Maybe even closer to thousands. Because we need a lot of hoppers. Oh, you're broken. Fix you. Now we're going to go ahead and place the... Nope. Oh my god. Where's my axe? Like the axe I haven't put a diamond on yet. We're going to put the hopper right there. And we're going to go ahead and put the barrel there. Now we need... Some trapdoors. I like using trapdoors. I don't know why. I just do. You can also use glass panes. Other things you can use along with. But what I do, stone barrel, place any block, doesn't matter, on top. And then you surround that with L trapdoors and then close them. I mean, I guess you don't have to close them. All right, and then you go in, where is your bucket? Find yourself your bucket, whether you have your clay bucket or your regular bucket. And then you put that on top. Take your tank. This is where things get a little on the cheaty side. Pull from the pull from the, the crucible that's making the lava over here, right? And then we're going to push into the stone barrel. Now, I do believe... No, no, it's working. It's going. So it fills up with lava. You can see it filling up with lava. The minute it's full, it turns into obsidian. And there you have it. There you have it. How cool is that? Now you can see why I got a little bit of flack from certain mod dev. 
over some of the shenanigans that I did. All right. Do we have... We don't. Give me a second. In continuing with the cheatiness, because there, there are always shortcuts, and I love finding these shortcuts, and not all of them are are, are shut, away, shut away. We're going to make ourselves a, a sink. We're going to make us a sink. We're going to do... Oh, I'm going to need more. We need more sand. Crap. All right. As I was saying, we, we're, we've got our tungsten. We need our plates. We're going to do... Where did... There you are. There's my shears. One, two, three, and f four steel wire tungsten plates. We're going to grab one copper plate, seven glass. We have a small tank. Small, small tank. You know what? I don't even remember whether or not that holds liquid. Like if you break it, that's inconsequential because we like this one once again. All right, head over here. Put you there. We're going to put the sink immediately next to it. We're going to do the exact same thing that we did. Pull, push. So it's going to pull water from one side and put it into the other. Wait a minute. I thought there was water in there. Yep. Fill, fill, fill. Nope. We're making clay. We're making quantities of clay. So we're probably going to need fair bits of clay. Now, we need clay today. We need it here real soon because we got something else we need to work on. We're going to go ahead before the night gets here. Get a little bit more dust. A little bit more. 45. And we're going to go ahead and get some sleep on. All right, nice and slept. So what do we need all of this for? First and foremost, ooh, we're going to need a whole lot more. Previously, we talked about these blank upgrades. Just real quick, we're going to grab one. We are going to grab one for the time being. You're going to go in here. Speed, go. A little bit faster. Oh, man. But, oh, man. We need more. And now how we're going to fix that. You know how we're going to fix that? We're going to get some iron. That's how we're going to fix it. A little bit more iron. Let me get them resources. All right, resources get. We're going to make ourselves the blank upgrade. And then we're going to go liquid fuel. That's right. Liquid fuel. Come over here. Put you in place. Let's go one, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. And that's that's going to last a whole minute. As you can see, it goes through it pretty quick. But think about it. That's 4,000. Because it's only going down by one. You can sit here and time it, but who's got time for that? I don't. All right, we're going to need... More sand, always need stuff, especially in the early goings. That should be enough, at least for now. Just over a stack, 16, yeah, that should be enough. Boom. Uh, what are we at? We're at 28, 30. Still got a ways to go. We got some in here. All right, so we were looking at the, can't remember the name of it, the water wheel. Requires the stone axles, which is a whole bunch of stone, a little bit of sticks to make that fantastic. We already have the auto sifter, but we need this and it requires these water wheel segments. Treated wood, we know where we get that. We gotta make a Coke oven. So Coke ovens, we need the Coke brick, barring that nothing crazy has happened, which it looks like we're safe. We need 27. Oh, we made extra. <laughs> we seem to do that. 
we'll actually probably end up making two of them uh, just to get it, you know, twice as fast. We also need the hammer. The hammer is, ooh, industrial hemp fiber. We gotta do farming. You see in the early game how all of this craziness does not seem to interact. Like you're getting going, you're going and going all of a sudden, boom, detour. Welcome, welcome to Project Ozone 3. All right, so how are we gonna do this quick, fast, and in a hurry? And, and kind of not, hopefully not, die. That's key. Here's what we're gonna do. And this is a little silly. I understand that. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Now you get to see the, the hunting dimension. Now, why would I jump in the hunting dimension if we got to make... That's why. Just like that. Up in the hunting dimension, abuse vein miner, utilize that sword, and you see we went through some durability. That's what? Uh, just over 100 and change? But look, we got the dirt. Almost six stacks of dirt. We can set up some farming. Oh, we need to... Huh. We need to get better organized. Wasn't there something said about some build planned? Something about it being from a movie, dystopian future. Huh. I think so. I'm trying to remember. Figure that out later. There are ideas. Um, I also did ask, should we go and explore and do stuff? Um, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the kind of pseudo play style of it being a sky block. So we're not gonna go and gather extra resources just because they're available to us. But we'll utilize the land as you would expand in a normal playthrough. So now that I'm looking at things, we have another problem. <laughs> it's one thing after another in this pack, isn't it? How are we looking on wood over here? And we're doing all right. I need some of you. Let's get some sticks. Oh, that's right. You can't do that. Can't do it that way. We're going to need some of that. We're going to need sieves. More of them. But we just had a whole bunch, right? We upgraded them. Why do we need why do we need more? Because we need to see dirt, and dirt alone. But it has to be done in string. In the string mesh. There's actually some stuff that we need to do in the uh, flint mesh as well. All right, let's see here. We're looking for one thing in, well, yeah, one thing specifically. And that is the industrial hemp. Sugarcane, nope, nothing yet. Uh, there's another one that we can use. It's the grass seed that's gonna come in handy. There's grass. We might have to go that route in order to get the industrial hemp by taking grass and bone mealing it. That might be something we have to do. But we're gonna go through the dirt, not all of it, but a, but a bit of it and see if we can't, you know what? Might as well just check JEI. That's what we have it for, right? Where do we get it? Dirt inside the mesh. So we're on we're on the right track, but it also gives us like spruce. If you want to build out a spruce or birch, why? God only knows. Um, jungle saplings, ancient spores, melon seeds, carrots, and all the other stuff. Dark oak. Dark oak's a nice wood to build out of. I'm not the best builder on the planet, but it's a nice wood to build out of. Let's see here, what else did we not get? Cotton, hey, there it is. Cactus, this is where we're gonna get our cactus. Yep, this is where we're gonna get our sugar cane. This is where we're gonna get our carrots. Do we have the other carrots yet? No, but I think that one they actually can only get through 
Yeah. Wait, there are other carrots? Yes, there are other carrots. And those are just as cheaty. Or they can be. Organize this just a little bit. We got all the stone stuff. Pebble stuff. Ancient spores. When we make that mycelium. And use mycelium to make uh, some mob farm stuff. Seeing that? That makes me wonder, Should we, how should we do our mob farm? Haven't, haven't really thought that through yet. We need to think about that soon, though. All right, for all the farming stuff, decide to go ahead. We're going to make ourselves a mattock. And like every other tool on our little planet here, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that as we see fit. Need a bucket of water. Do we have... We do. We're going to need some bone meal. There we go. Go forth. Plant the industrial hemp. Yay! Oh, achievement get. We haven't even looked at the quest book today. But that's okay. For the time being. Little bit of industrial hemp later. Not a whole lot, but a little lot. We're gonna need iron. One, two. And we're gonna need some sticks. Sticks. One, two. And it's hammer time. Again, I need to get better at using JEI, the other side of it, to organize stuff, you know? Really need to. And that's another achievement get. And yet another. See? If anybody thought I was kidding to where this thing was going to get kind of over the top and oh my god. It just keeps going. However, one, one word of credit that I will give. Boom. Is that, as you saw, we completed one... And then the next, and then the next completed in succession, right? I'm going to give that credit. I, I've played some packs to where if you don't do them in order, you are pretty much out of luck. You are hosed. And that's bad. All right, 64. As you can see, it goes pretty quickly. We haven't used a whole lot of lava. But watch this. One clay becomes two bricks. That's not cheaty at all. Um, a little bit more sand. Let's see here. We need what? Nine. So one, two, three. No, we only need eight because we have an extra three. 27. See, I told you we're going to make two. And we'll go ahead and pull half of you out and put you in there. Fantastic. Do we have? We don't. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and pull you because we're, we're going to do it again. This time, we don't have to walk through each individual step, do we? I don't think so. I don't really think we need to. I do want to find out if this works can't remember. I think it does. I think this is going to duplicate it for us. Are you going to duplicate it? You are. All right. Not going to worry about that. Another fluid tank later. Place you down in between. Config. Pull from the left. Pull from the right. And now creosote will be dumped in here. And then we can use this to go forth and make our treated wood. Because we're going to need that. All right, so I alluded to something, a mistake that I made. Um, earlier in the episode, I alluded to something, a mistake that was made. This crushing table, right? We talked about it because of the iron to make the plates. I made a mistake. Zinc. 
Remember I was saying, oh, in order to get zinc, you got to go through because there is no sieving. Yeah. If that was the case, how do I have some? Because there's multiple zinc. As you see, zinc from extra planets versus, yeah. You look right here, zinc or chunk, which comes directly from sand, flint, iron, and then some. So mistakes were made. However, there was one thing. You still need to have an anvil, which will still require a block. So you can't make it too early. You actually have to get to the point where you have a smeltery. So we're not that far behind, but yeah. Don't tell me it has to be dark oak planks. That would be a change. However, I mean, that'd be funny because now you got to go and find all the dark oak stuff. Fortunately, we have some dark oak stuff. One, two, three, four. Do we still have? We do. And look at that. Dark oak. Ooh. Do we have grafters in here? We do not. Um, We're going to go get a crook. Because we definitely want those saplings. Just in case. You never know. Did I make a super stupid crook? I did not. Believe it or not, you can actually make crooks through Tinker's Tables. Um, see? One, two, three, four. Make it out of like obsidian or something crazy. Imagine that. Never need another... Make it out of stone. Never need another crook again. 14. I'll take it. Four saplings becomes 14 saplings. We'll go ahead and break you down. A couple extra. Now that we have the hopping bonsai, we can actually go through and put that where you only need one in the hopping bonsai and call it good. All right, what am I waiting on? We're waiting on you. Now imagine watching me try to do this in a stream. I need three, not just one. There, we got our third. Because Anvil. Yeah, imagine watching me try to do this throughout a stream. I am always all over the place. And then you get chat involved and tangents happen. It just, it's a mess. It is any wood. It was only showing me dark oak. You are horrible. Bad. You are a bad person. Would have been funny though. Not gonna lie. It would have been absolutely hilarious if it was defined, defined only by dark oak. Or birch. I think that would have been even funnier. Alright, so we've got the crushing table. We're gonna go ahead and put you down here. We do need the hammer. We do need a hammer. And we've got three choices. You've got a basic stone hammer. Stone, some sticks. You've got an iron hammer if you've got the spare iron. And then you've got a steel hammer. If, you, if, if you've got the steel. We're, we're going to go with iron. We have steel. But we're going to go with iron. I don't know that we're going to be using it a whole lot yet. We might later on. We might check out the sluice and stuff. But for right now, yeah. And then right click places it on there. And then or and then right click over and over. Don't hold the right click button. You actually have to press like click, click, click. Yeah. So that does that. That is an early game option if you don't have the iron or if you don't have the smeltery, get the zinc, go that route. But you're going to need the smeltery because of the blocks. So it pretty much kind of negates that process. I use that. can't remember if it was Titan mode or not to bypass it. Um, and I got early, early, early iron and uh, made my bucket that way before we had the smeltery. So how, 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 how is you looking? Hey, look at that. We only need 40. 
And then we need U5. Started the started the stream off talking about tools and upgrading it. And we have come full circle. So actually, first things, we're gonna make sure you are completely healthy. There there is there is no blemishes. There there is no battle wounds or scars. That's right, completely healthy, all maxed out. One, two, three, four, and last but not least, five. And what that does is you will notice it is not only reinforced, but yes, it is unbreakable. But we are maxed out in terms of we have no available modifiers. How are we on? Oh, that's fantastic, I think. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, next modifier we're going to get on, we would need to go into the nether, do some one more level of power leveling, get another modifier, and that silky jewel is next. But we've come full circle, so we're going to leave that till next episode. So if you're enjoying the series, which I hope you are, do me a huge favor. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, it's down there right next to the like button. I think I've got something planned for my Patreon nerds uh, for episode 10. I have an idea. I'm going to run it by you guys for those of you that are Patreons. If you're not, you might miss out. Anyhow, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.